Hey, Peach and Scouters, Justin here. And last night, before I went to bed, I left a few pieces of rope on my camp table. This morning, when I came out, someone had tied two of them into these strange looking knots. They also left a note, and all that note said was monkey ball. Have you ever heard of a monkey ball before? A monkey ball is one of my favorite scouting knots. It's unlike many knots you've tied before. Because, for one thing, it does not follow all of our rules of knot tying. Do you remember the rules of knot tying? What were they? Well, rule number one was that any knot we tie should be easy to tie. Unfortunately, the monkey ball is pretty tricky, so it does not follow rule number one. What was rule number two? Rule number two was that once that knot is tied, it should stay tied. Well, the monkey ball does seem to follow this rule. Once it's tied, it stays tied. What was our final rule? Rule number three said that any knot we tie should also be easy to untie. Unfortunately, the monkey ball fails on this as well. It's kind of tricky to untie. Even though it doesn't follow all of the rules of knot tying, it's still a great knot. It can be used for a lot of things. It falls into a category of knots called stopper knots. As you can see, we tie it at one end of our rope, and it, what it does is it either gives us a handle to hold on, or it also will help our rope not slip through another knot we've tied. Some other things we can do with it is it gives us a weighted end and we could throw it up over if we needed to throw it over a branch to tie a guy line for one of our dining flies. And one of my favorite things to do with it is you can play a rousing game of monkey ball with it. You can use it and throw it to your friends and they can throw it back to you. So today, I thought it might be fun to teach all of you to tie your very own monkey ball. To tie the monkey ball, we're gonna need some additional hardware. So, I'm gonna get out one of my patented contraptions. This is my monkey ball jig. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four posts coming up out of the top of this log. I'm gonna use those to tie my monkey ball around. If you don't have one of these, you could make one out of some simple things you have inside. Do you have some chopsticks from a takeout meal? Or what about a few pencils? Do you have some pencils? If you do, and you have a small cardboard box, you've got your very own monkey ball jig. All we're gonna need to do is one, two, three, and four. Perfect. Now you've got your very own jig to tie your monkey ball around. Okay, let's get started. To tie our monkey ball, we'll need our jig, and we'll also need about five feet of rope. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a simple overhand knot at one end. This is going to be the stopper knot of the monkey ball. So, there we go. I've got my small overhand knot. Now, we're gonna take it and we're gonna go around our jig. And from here, we're gonna make three wraps, making sure that they're very neat on top of each other. Very similar to when we do our lashings. So there's one, two, and three. So we've gone three times around the jig. Now, just like when we do our lashings, we're gonna come in between. So let's come around and down through. And here, we're gonna go in between three times. One, and two, and three. And there we go. Okay. So the final step to our monkey ball is might be the trickiest part. Here, we're gonna go in between this way, but only around these three loops that we made in the middle. So we're gonna have to do some weaving. So let's come over and then down through and then bring it around and come up the other side and pull it tight. And there we go. Now let's do that three times. Let's go one, 
and through the other side. And there we go. Make sure it stays in the middle. And let's do a second one. Making sure to keep these, these loops tight and close to each other, just like our lashing. Two, and now on our third one, let's come around and come back up. Should be getting pretty tight in there because there's lots of loops. And three. Okay, so now we've finished our monkey ball, but there's one more step, and this step is a little tricky. Let's take it off the jig, and now what we're gonna do is we need to tighten the ball. So the first thing we're gonna do is find that stopper knot and let's push it until it's inside. See how when we pushed it inside, it brought this loop out? So what we're gonna do is follow this loop the whole way around, pulling it tight each time. So I did that. So now let's push on this end. See when I push this end, it lifts it up at the top. Let's pull that tight. Now. Let's follow it again. So I'm gonna push this end and it's gonna make this side. And we're gonna go the whole way around the ball. Keep going. This is the hardest part. Keep going. Just keep following, push one loop out and pull it the other side. And push it back through and pull it on the other side. As you see, each time we do this, the monkey ball gets a little tighter. This is what we're going for. So let's push it again and keep going. Sometimes you can get a little bit dizzy doing this because we're just going around and around and around and around. And as you see, each time we do it, it gets a little bit tighter. And there we go. And here, still going. And here, and here. Sorry, this is taking so long. Like I said, this knot does not follow all of our knot tying rules. Again, it's, doesn't, it's hard to tie, it's hard to untie, but at least it stays tied once you're done. So keep going. Just keep following it. Here we go, almost done. And there we go, just three more loops. You'll be able to see as you do this that you're coming the whole way around. And there we go, let's pull it tight. That's a perfect monkey ball. Do you think you could tie this knot at home? Like I said, this is a trickier knot, so you may need to watch this video more than once and practice it. But once you get it, you'll never forget, and you'll always have a fun monkey ball to take on your camping trip. So until next time, remember, practice your monkey ball, and for the next 30 days while we're stuck at home, stay safe and stay scouting.